and salutations. My name is Eric Moss. I'm a modern day performing strongman. What that basically means is I perform feats of strength as part of a live show. However, with live shows being few and far between because of um, mass gatherings not really being a thing, with the exception of like raiding the Capitol, which I'm not part of, um, live shows are few and far between. So I started a YouTube series called Feats of Strength Friday where each Friday I perform a different feat of strength each week until life returns to normal. Now the feat this week is going to be especially dedicated to Anthony and Dot because it is going to be their birthday. I am honored to be a part of your journeys in strength. Thank you for choosing Eric Moss Fitness for all your health and fitness needs. So anyways, I want to tell a quick story. I wanted to tell it back during the holidays because I thought it was a really cool story. Um, Back sometime in December, uh, as I was training one of my personal training clients, an older gentleman walked into my studio and he had seen some of the bent nails that I have on display as well as the frying pans that I have rolled up in the windows and the steel bars that I've got on display. And he wanted to meet whoever had done this. And I said, I was the one who did this. And he's like, you, you're so young. Now I was like, what a, an odd thing. But apparently this guy had seen the mighty Adam and if you are familiar with any bit of my story, you know that the Mighty Adam is a very important figure, not just to myself as a strongman, but basically to just about all of us steelbenders out there. Legendary strongman from the vaudeville era, and I was one of the ones that was honored to be able to bend a steel bar on his son's nose when he was 93 years old. Awesome stuff. So anyways, this guy comes into my studio, and he had said that he was like so inspired by seeing the Mighty Adam that he was bending nails and stuff like that in his hands. And he was such a fan of all things strength. And I wanted to do a video on that, but I had already done a 60 penny nail as one of these Feats of Strength Fridays. And I didn't want to uh, repeat it because like I said, I wanted it to be different. So what I'm going to do is I've marked about where like the width of my thumb would be. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna chop that part off so that it's shorter and I lose leverage, making it a more difficult feat. So let's see, hold this here, put it in like that, can you see that? Okay, the tricky thing is holding this right Now, let's see if I could bend it. It's shorter than I would normally do, and I'm a bit beat up from my workouts this week. Yeah, nailed that one. See that? So anyways, if you enjoyed this content, and you uh, please let me know by hitting that like button. If you want to see more of this sort of thing, subscribe to my channel. One of the things is this pandemic is lasting a lot longer than I thought it would, so I, I may start running out of ideas for feats. So if you have ideas, please share them with me in the comments below, but keep them um, stuff that would be the sort of thing that would be seen from the stage. None of this BS about a power twister or anything like that. But anyways, also, if you think anyone should see this, please share it with them. Anyways, that is it for today. Please stay happy, stay healthy, stay strong, stay safe, everyone. Eric Moss, over and out.